We'll proceed with the installation of OpenKM with Linux. We have to give the right to execute to the folder we are downloading. We execute the folder. We accept the license and it will start the installation wizard. This folder can be installed graphically or directly from the terminal. And in both cases, it will ask us the necessary information to complete the process. Once the installation is complete, an icon will appear on the desktop. And the README file will give us information about the installation. We load the application by clicking on the start icon that's on the desktop. And for the first time, the application will start loading itself. Once loaded, we'll see that at the end appears um, the word startup. Server startup. Following the information in the readme, we open the navigator and meanwhile the application continues to execute itself. It will ask the user to log in and enter a password as appears in the readme. We enter the information and we log in. We exit the application. We close OpenKM and now we can see how OpenKM is installed on the operative system. There is the OpenKM 6.0 folder. Inside we have a Java directory and a Tomcat directory and also a file called uninstall. If we execute this file, the application will start to uninstall itself and the operative system will go back to its initial state. With the application uninstalled, we can see that under four minutes we have the application deployed 